have a putter problem. I'm addicted to buying putters. And I think I'm a glutton for punishment because I have just bought so many putters throughout this golf journey because they're, they're just fun, you know? It's just fun to buy putters. And the best putter I've owned has been this Huntington Beach 3 $120 putter, okay? This thing just keeps making its way from the timeout closet back in, from the timeout closet back in. Now it's in the full rotation. But there's a part of me that just can't resist like buying another putter. I don't know why, because I just love experimenting and ah. So today we're gonna pit the Jailbird 38 inches with lots of lead tape and extra weights against this to see which one reigns supreme in the bag. Now, first impressions of this putter, honestly, it's pretty good. Like, you know, it's a very different style of putting. Obviously you have the extra counterbalance and I added more weight because I just felt like the weight that was there just didn't feel like enough weight. So I bought additional 20 gram weights from Callaway plus added some lead tape because if you look at all the pros, wow, okay, this is not a good start. Um, if you look at all the pros, they play this pretty heavy. And after doing the lab putter review, you know, I feel like if you're gonna have a putter like this, like you want the head to feel heavy, you wanna feel like there's like as minimal amount of manipulation as possible in the hands. So I have had this putter for a little bit and I've tried it a variety of different ways between claw grip and holding it normal. It feels like claw grip, for me, is the only way to make this putter work. Like if you see, you know, if you saw the first two putts, like standing over it feels quite natural in the kind of like counterbalance stance. The only problem I have is like, I just pull everything so left when I do it that way versus if I go pencil or claw grip, I don't seem to have that same issue. I don't know why. If you know why, let me know in the comments. I am not an expert, but I'm genuinely curious as to why. So to put it through its paces, I've got a nine station putting setup. We're gonna do the Cleveland versus the Jailbird with the pencil grip and see if this deserves a spot in the bag or not. All right, we're gonna kick it off with the thing. I go back and forth with wearing the sunglasses while I play. I need to wear them more. I went and got my eyes tested a year ago and they said I need to wear sunglasses more often because I'm very sensitive to light, which is fine. But sometimes I find with reading putts, uh, the sunglasses are not the play for getting depth. Okay. Also, I figured this time we'd have the Cleveland go first because when we did the lab test, which I've linked in the description below, the Cleveland went second, which I don't think really altered the test, but I think it's just, you know, out of fairness. That's a good putt, just not enough speed. Oh, that's a really good putt. That's annoying. Oh, sit down. Just not enough. Not enough, not enough. Oh, that's a good putt, there we go. All right, three one putts. See if we can do something. Do you deserve a spot in the bag? Push the shit out of that. My goodness.
Nope. Oh, that's, that's not as bad as, oh, that's, that's not good. Oof. Woo. First two tests are in, had to run back to the car in between. Uh, they do, they have a lot of farms around here. And so sometimes they'll fertilize and I think it's manure or whatever. And I don't know what it was today, but you saw this cloud over there coming with the wind and it, there was a smell and I saw it coming and I was like, I don't need to get hit with whatever that is. So we're just in our car. Uh, waiting for the wind to blow this over because I'm not down to get hit with whatever that is. And then we will resume. Interesting thing part about the first round, the Jailbird wins by one, but the Cleveland had a lot of putts that were like really, really close. So I wonder if, if you know, that's why we do two rounds for when like the test is close because sometimes it could just be, you know, green irregularities or things like that. Uh, when I did this test with the lab putter, it was very obvious that the lab was just not it. Whereas in this case, yeah, it's worth, we got to do another another round each and kind of see if the test holds up because I'm very curious to see if, if you know, did I putt better with the Jailbird simply because I knew the putts a little better or is it actually just a better putter for me? Oh my gosh, just missed it on the lip again. Yes. Oh, I hammered that so hard. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, I felt too confident on that one. Way too confident. Like norm, like this is, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable what I've done here. This is an unnecessary three putt. So we gotta. Ooh. Woo, saved ourselves from that one. I thought I had that for sure. Go, 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 go. <laughs> wow. All right, four one putts. It's pretty good. So interesting. I missed this putt on that side with this putter. Twice, same miss.
Really? Finally. No. So very interesting, and that's why when I do these tests, if it's close on the first one, you have to do it two, three, four times through the entire circuit to get a sense of if, you know, it's just an anomaly or one is actually better. And it is interesting, like though this putter is good, it makes sense. All the technology is there. You got the AI face, which is really cool. Like it makes sense that this should be better. But what I find interesting about this putter, and maybe this just is the perfect sweet spot for me, I tend to be closer even on my misses with this. Like, I'm either lipping out or close to lipping out with this when I do miss. And I feel like I can aim. And I think that's been a big thing I've been trying to find with every putter I've ever tested, is when I step over it, do I feel like I can aim? And the thing I keep running into with these putters, you know, with the more helpful putters, is I struggle to be able to just kind of aim and hit my lines. And I find that with this, like I think under the gun and kind of even in this test, I don't feel like I can make some of those pressure putts. I missed a couple here that would be putts that I would need to make in a game time scenario. And as you saw with this one, when I had to make that comebacker on the lag putt that I totally wrecked, I made that. I don't know if I could make that same putt with this. So, you know what, let's go, let's go see. Can I make that same putt? Let's go see right now. Just gonna walk right over and we're gonna estimate because that's a good example right there of like can we make the putt here right, we're gonna set it up this way all right so i blew that putt oh, i think it was about here yeah i think it was about here All right, you know, can I make this to save par? And that's, that's what I'm looking for in a putter. That's what I'm looking for in the confidence I have with a putter. Huh, I can. Huh, interesting. I didn't, I, oh, that sucks. That kind of sucks now. Because now, now this is potentially more of a debate. I don't know. I don't know. I was kind of ready to write this off, but I don't know. In my hands, it doesn't feel as comfortable as the Cleveland does just naturally. I don't sit there and go, oh, this is the best putter, but, huh, interesting. But then I did miss two putts more on that second time around. So on the overall, the Cleveland won. This is why it's torturous. This is why I buy putters. This is why I lose, this is why I spend so much money on putters. This is, this is the psychosis that this puts me through. I still think the Cleveland's a play. Let me know in the comments what you think should be the gamer from what you see in this video. I think I'm leaning towards the Cleveland. I think that's just the move, but I'm interested to get your thoughts. So you let me know and I need to stop buying putters. So hopefully I can just put this to bed, the Cleveland wins, and we call it a day. But if you guys say different, well then the misery continues. So let me know in the comments, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.